Hi, I'm Pete Andrews, and this is Mike Corey, and this is OCR's Double Click. Today, um, I want to talk about a special event that's happening. It's the e commerce accelerator summit taking place on April 24th and, and 25th in New York City, New York. What are that's we talking right, about Pete. There? We've got two fun filled days. The first one's going to be all about the Amazon Hackathon brought to you by One Click Retail. Then we've got our friends at Clavis Insights helping us with the six piece e commerce intelligence. If I do say so myself, this is by far the best e-commerce type of get-together that you could possibly go to. So Mike, what are we talking about today? Today, I'm really excited about our topic. We're going to be talking about natural products, natural foods. Um, the reason we chose that is because next week, actually, we will be going to the Natural Products West Show. I'll be in attendance. Um, if you have any questions, if you're at the Natural Products Show, you can reach out to me at mike.corey at onequickretail.com. You can see here on the bottom. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go over a little bit about uh, kind of what we're seeing as far as uh, um, ways to enhance your products, bring those ASINs up, um, and also the six P's. Uh, if you haven't heard of the six P's, P here, excited to tell you what those are. Yes, and if you don't know them, those are our friends at Clavis Insights have taught us about price, promotion, product, placement, perfect page, and performance. We're going to talk a lot about performance today. Now, Mike, you and I were reading beforehand an article um, by Euromonitor about the change that we're seeing in the consumable space, that um, we have seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of trend around diet. Right, a lot of diet products that are going through, but what we've been seeing and seeing documentaries about is maybe those diet products aren't so good for us. And people are beginning to be worried about the stuff that they're actually putting in. Exactly. And we're seeing companies that are changing their brand messaging, going from diet to natural products and organic products. And it's actually something that we're seeing on Amazon pretty substantially. What are some it of the is, numbers we are? Seeing? We're seeing a lot of that. Uh, we actually see that 25% uh, of all fresh sales wow. actually are including the word organic in the yeah. title. Um, and then also eight of the 20 best-selling grocery items, also same thing, showing that organic in the title. Yeah, and so they are using those six Ps that we've already talked about in order to grow. Um, let's talk about some categories. So personal health care, how big is that category? Personal health care is actually a $700 million category. And it's growing at 40%. Right now. And some of the biggest products that are coming through there is one, an organic product called uh, Burt's Bees. So Burt's Bees is growing at a, a tremendous rate of 60%. And then another organic product that we're seeing, a natural product, is this Think Baby sunscreen. And that's growing at over 70%. Year over year. And so those are those are some great areas, but what what's the so what, right? And I think we'll dive deeper into a, a couple areas. First off, pet food, and then we'll talk about um, snack foods um, to talk about what exactly some companies are doing in order to drive business. So the first company that we'll talk about is Taste of the Wild. Very interesting, I think, because. As you mentioned, Pete, a lot of people are going on to Amazon and looking for organic, all natural type of products for their own body. But the same thing is happening in pet food, where people are looking specifically for food that is all natural, that doesn't have a lot of fillers, that's grain free. Um, and Taste of the Wild has done a fantastic job in capturing some of that market. Yeah, so you think about this, Taste of the Wild is in an established market. Dog food's been around for years, but because they've been able to leverage that branding of raw, organic, uh, natural food, they've been able to succeed because of that. And that's, that's what they're doing right here. They're using branding throughout their detail page. They have a fantastic detail page that's loaded with all of this key, all of these, uh, these buzzwords, mm -hmm. these organic phrases, raw and all this, that lends to that customer um, that is looking for those natural, organic products. Yeah. Now what that also does is while that sells on the detail page, because customers are searching for that, that's also going to help with uh, another P, which is placement. That's going to help us with our search and help us rise up in search because of that. Now, the next area that we're going to talk about is snack foods. And what do you think of when you think of snack foods? Oh, I think of, I think of potato chips, I think of garbage, I think of sugar, I think about all the stuff I want in my snack food, right? But that has changed again, yeah. right? Now we're seeing snack foods doing the same thing, moving yeah. towards organic and moving towards those same words that we just mentioned. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, Annie's is actually a, a great example of this. Um, let's put this in perspective for you. Um, during Prime Day, um, they actually um, leveraged a promotion mm -hmm. in order to drive their sales. They almost doubled in sales. And because of that, because of that promotion, 
they were able to get the flywheel spinning enough to where they are continuing to see a fantastic trajectory in their growth. So in short, branding's great, and this organic natural craze is something that's definitely growing, but we have to continue to build off that flywheel or else people aren't gonna find you. So, um, Mike, how can people learn more about natural products? Oh, there's so many different ways, but again, like we mentioned, we're the performance arm. Reach out to us. If you're a current OCR customer, you can reach out to your insights person. If you're not a current one-click retail customer, you can always email us at info at oneclickretail.com. We're happy to help. We're happy to uh, give you more insights about the what and the so what. Yeah, and that's the double click. Thanks for signing on. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.